This review is of Field Roast Chef's Signature Plant-Based Burgers. There are six in here. That's I'm surprised. So you can grill it, you can cook it on the stovetop, oven, or even on the microwave. I'm going to put it on the stovetop this time around. Um, so it's crafted with mushrooms, roasted garlic, and onions. And yeah, so it does have wheat. Hmm. All right. Oops. I kind of wish they had bothered to individually package these, or at least two packers. Because, you know, they're all squished together. If I had frozen this, <laughs> I wouldn't be getting them apart anytime soon. It says there are six. Alright, well, <clears throat> no sense in wasting time when time is short. I'm going to pause you. Alright, I've got my pan heated up with a bit of oil in there. I'm going to take two of you little buggers and cook you. If I can even... Oh my, that does not look like... Yeah, that's actually a fairly thick piece. I'm going to put this one in here and I'm going to put the other one in the microwave, because I'm short on time. Alright, I got this one in there with my onions. And now, uh, i got to get another one off. Alright, so it says 30 seconds, flip it, and then 15 seconds. And I'm a little bit confused, because the package says... Okay, there we go. Four patties. Ready to eat. Keep refrigerated. Okay, so actually, I don't understand why it is that I have to cook it for five minutes per side. That seems to be an awfully long time for a pre-cooked uh, patty. You'd think that you'd be able... I mean, it's, and it's only 45 seconds in the microwave. That, to me, just is confusing. softer now. That's good. And we'll do the 15 seconds. And while we're doing that, I can, I've got my tomatoes. I guess my onions are going to have to wait. But Okay, i got to put that into a container. Just save for another another time. All right, I've got uh, got it ready to go. I'm going to take a bit off of it so I can find out about the texture and flavor. So they attempted to simulate the texture of uh, ground beef, um, but since wheat has a different uh, structure than uh, beef does, or turkey or chicken or whatever, um, it doesn't have the same same exact structure. I mean, you can feel the the bits, right? But it's a it's chewier. You know, with, with meat, it tends to just be a straight crush and, and with this it's a little bit it has some it has some rebound to it taste is okay doesn't taste like a burger uh, uh, not a plain one anyways but it's okay so let's give it the test Okay, if you're looking for if you're looking for a plain burger um, to build up 
this is not going to be a good choice. However, if you are one of those people who likes to have pre-flavored burgers, and I have to admit there are some pretty nice ones out there. I had, uh, I've tasted them. Um, you might like this. Um, I can't really describe the flavor that they've imparted to this uh, patty, but um, it's nice enough. Um, and some people, I'm sure, will really like it. So, <laughs> sorry. Not me farting, it's the, it's the bottle. All right, well, yeah. I'm going to pause you until my other one is done. And here we are ready for this one. I just turned off the heat about 30 seconds ago. Looks like my, oh, I'm sorry. I can't, I'm having a hard time here. Holding on to you and holding on to this. Trying to wrestle this thing out of here. Oh dear. All right, so let's get some onions on there. Since I love onions. And garlic and mushrooms. And... All right, hold on. Okay, doesn't that look lovely? It looks like meat now. You know, I think um, I think it's amazing on the rare occasion when I find a plant-based burger that changes from red to brown. Um, it's a hard thing to do. And I'm not entirely sure that it's a good idea to do it because I have to question um, whether there's a negative impact on the... Um, the quality and the um, nutrients if it's done that way. I don't know, but it seems to me like ideally, you know, it just, it looks like this stuff where it's already brown and you just heat it up. Um, because the more complicated you make it, the more processing you have to do. The more processing you have to do, the less natural, obviously, it is. And often processed food is much less healthful. So you may think that you're being healthful by eating plant-based burgers, when in fact, that's not necessarily the case. They taste good, maybe. They allow you to avoid eating the meat you would otherwise eat, but what is the trade-off? With having put this into a pan and cooked it, like the instructions said, it's a bit crispier than I like. I think if I, I think with my next batch, I will not cook them as long, um, and on in the in the pot, um, because for me it's it's now too crispy. But otherwise, it's fine. Obviously, the, the taste hasn't changed. So if you're looking for a nicely flavored patty alternative, this is a good choice. If you're looking for something that tastes like a burger, and feels like a burger, and looks like a burger, you're going to have to look for at one of the other reviews I did already of some of the, the better choices for that. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.